Hey preschoolers, I have another fantastic book about Fox for you today. This one is called Fox on Wheels. So again, this has three little stories and the first one's called Dr. Fox. On Saturday, Carmen called Fox on the phone. Dexter and I are going out on our skateboard, she said. I'll be right over, said Fox. Not so fast, Fox, said Mom. I'm taking the twins to the doctor, and you must stay with Louise. Rats, said Fox. Now none of that, said Mom. Fox told his friends that he could not go out, and all because of you, he said to Louise. Now don't give me any trouble. Soon Fox was lost in his TV programs. He did not give Louise another thought. All of a sudden, there was a loud crash. It came from the backyard. Uh oh, said Fox. Louise, oh my goodness, had taken a bad spill. Oh my goodness, cried Fox. Louise is dead. But Louise was not dead. Help, said a tiny voice. Get me out of here. Fox was very upset. It's all my fault, he said. It's all my fault. I want to go to my room, said Louise. Of course, said Fox. I want to lie down, said Louise. Of course, said Fox. I need soft music, said Louise. Of course, said Fox. Make a tuna sandwich, said Louise. Of course, said Fox. Read me a story, said Louise. I'd be glad to, said Fox. Are you feeling better, said Fox. Not much, said Louise. What can I do now, said Fox. Rub my toes, said Louise. Certainly, said Fox. Mmm, said Louise. Just then, Louise's friends, Spud and Dora Jean, came by. Can Louise come out, they said. I'm afraid not, said Fox. Louise has taken a bad spill. Just a minute, said Louise. And she hopped right out of bed. I'm much better now, she said, and she ran outside to play. Hmm, said Fox. Sounds like she was playing Fox. Ooh, this story is called Fox and the Grapes. One day, Fox was riding his bike in the park. Goodness, he said, this makes me feel really hungry. Just then, something fell out of a tall tree. It was a grape. That's odd, said Fox. Grapes don't grow on trees. Hi, said a voice. Fox looked up and saw Millie. She was eating a bunch of grapes. I love grapes, said Fox. Want some, said Millie. Yes, please, said Fox. Mm, how's he gonna get some grapes? Come on up, said Millie. Uh, said Fox. Fox didn't like high places, not one little bit. Just drop some down, he said. Oh no, said Millie, you have to come up. Uh, said Fox. You aren't afraid, are you, said Millie. Of course not, said Fox. Then climb up, said Millie. All right, said Fox. Here I come. Fox took a deep breath. He closed his eyes and he started to climb the tall tree. All right. Let's see if he can do it. But he made a serious mistake. He opened his eyes and he looked down. Ooh, he said, I'm so high up. And he climbed back down. What's the matter, said Millie. Nothing, said Fox. I'll be right up. He tried again. But he came back down this time, too. I thought you weren't scared, said Millie. I'm not, said Fox. I just don't want any grapes after all. They're probably no good. Hmm. Fox went to another part of the park and sat down to think. He was cross with himself. He really didn't want any grapes now, but he just had to climb that tree. This time, he got a running start. Okay. And this time, he made it all the way to the top. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, said Millie. I'm scared. I don't know how to get down. Well, that's just dandy, said Fox. Want a grape? Said Millie. Hmm. Now we've got two of them stuck up in the tree. All right, here's our third story. Fox on wheels. One Saturday morning, Fox ate breakfast in a hurry. 
I'm off to meet the gang, he said. Hold your horses, said Mom. But we're going to have a bike race, said Fox. You can race later, said Mom. I need some help around here. Doing what, said Fox. Take your choice, said Mom. You can look after Louise, or you can go shopping. Fox looked at Louise. Too much trouble, he said. I'll shop. Here's the list, said Mom. This will take all day, said Fox. Oh, look how long that list was. Then you must hurry, said Mom, and don't forget the tuna fish for Louise's sandwich. At the market, Fox ran into the gang. They had to shop, too. We'll just have to race later, said Fox. Too bad, said Dexter. I have an idea, said Carmen. Why don't we race right now? Great idea, said her friends. Let's race from one end of the store to the other, said Fox. Fine, said the gang. Do you think that's a good idea to race in the grocery store? Let's see. On your mark, get set, go, cried Fox, and the race was on. Dexter pulled out ahead. Gangway, he cried. Suddenly, a wheel fell off his cart. Nuts, said Dexter, I'm out of the race. Beep, beep, cried Carmen, and shoppers ran for their lives. Oh, dear. Carmen was about to win, but just then her cart crashed into a barrel of pickles. Oh, fudge, said Carmen. Hooray, cried Fox, I won, I won. But some of the shoppers had angry words for Mr. Sloan. Shopping here is dangerous, said nice Miss O'Hare. It won't happen again, said Mr. Sloan. When Fox got home, his mom was on the phone. Oh, really, said Mom. He didn't. He did? Well, it won't happen again. And she hung up. I hear you're the fastest fox on wheels, said Mom. You bet I am, said Fox. Care to prove it, said Mom. I'll get my bike, said Fox. Hold your horses, said Mom. I have a better idea. Rats, said Fox. These aren't the wheels I had in mind. Hmm. Looks like you had to do yard work as a consequence for causing all that trouble in the store. Oh my goodness, Fox just can't stay out of trouble, can he? Well, tomorrow I think we're going to read about Fox at school. So we're going to find out all the crazy things that happened to him and his friends at school.